Hi guys, what we're looking at here is my 3D printed interpretation of another one of David Vernon Williamson's very simple uh, machines. It's a boat, rubber band powered boat. Now he made his from a drinks can and he glued the um, blades onto it. Had a paper clip on this side to hold the rubber band in place. And on this side, drill a little hole in the cap of the rubber band, uh, of the can. Put a little bead on it to give it a um, friction surface or a. I can't remember what the word is, never mind. I thought. Let's see if I can 3D print it instead. So that's what I printed. That's my can. It's heavier than David's would have been. I'm going to glue that so it'll be a watertight container with a hole up the middle. That bar across there is for attaching the rubber band to. This little bit here, half moon shape. That's my... Um, bearing surface and then I've got a bit of, pa bit of paper clip here but I'm thinking of possibly using a wooden drink stirrer for the arm and then that's our paddle at the back that actually sits on top of the water so that the boat goes forwards now, I might have to add some foam to that to make it float. I don't know. And with David, he uses uh, like paperclip wire, comes out here and it actually curves in a little bit. And that might be a problem if I do it with this uh, drink stirrer because the paddle or the arm is going to be off to one side, which will probably make it go in circles. But then I'm not going for a distance record here, I just want to see if we can make it work. So I'll try this. If it looks like we need to bring it round to the middle somewhere, then we'll have to go to a bit of bent wire instead. First thing I'll do is just super glue that on there. And then we'll bend a hook on here for a band, a band through there, wind it up and see if it works. Right, I've glued that on. Now we need a hook. Make sure I haven't made that too big. Yeah, I made that too big. Let's make that a bit smaller. better. Right, uh, for this one I'm just going to bend it around here. making this look harder than I need to. The 
Well, one thing I will say is when you're cutting paper clips like this, they do end up with sharp edges and it's very easy to cut your fingers on them. So just a word of warning. Right, so that's going to turn around like that. I could probably have put an extra little bead in there for double the, um, I can't think of the word, to reduce the friction. Yeah, should have done that, so I would suggest putting an extra bead there. And I'm just going to glue that on there for now. Because that's the easiest way to do it. I had originally those little lines in it, slots in it. That was so I could actually thread a paper clip through there. Because I was going to do the bent piece of wire. But we won't do that this time. We'll just give this a go. That's more super glue than you're ever going to need. Right, I better go and put some water in the sink. So we'll just give it a run in the sink for now. Just see if we got the balance and that sort of thing right. Paper clip. Uh -huh. Now, can we get the other one through? Right, there we are. I've got the other end. All right. So there we go. Which way do we want it to go? That's going to go that way. So if we wind it. That way. Definitely should have put us an extra little bead on there. Still, we're going to try it. Obviously, if you wound it up enough, it'd go on land, but this is specifically for going on water. Right, there's quite a few things we haven't checked before we've tried this. Like whether it floats. Oh yeah, that works fine. Probably could put a float on there. But it's going to work anyway. Right, we're going to give it a try in the bath. And we're going to use that camera there. It's actually my wife's. We bought it years ago for going on holiday. It's a waterproof one. You can actually go underwater with it. Well, it worked, but the batteries run out on the camera. So I don't know if it's recorded anything or not. I'll have to go and recharge it and have another go, I think. Well, we'll see what we've got. If we've got enough footage anyway, that'll be enough. But I'll have to put this camera back on charge. Obviously, the battery's not very good because I charged it up freshly a couple of days ago. And we haven't used it since, so it should have been all right. It's got a sticky label over it. What are we? Fujifilm something XP. Where that sticky label is. 
I think it's something like a 78 XP. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.